Well, hi everyone. Here we are, uh, June the 9th, 1995 Island Highway, Campbell River, Vancouver Island. Wow, did we have a rain last night or what? But I guess that's what keeps the island green. You know, we're sort of on the edge of a rainforest, so uh, you, you, you got to like what you get, sort of thing. Uh, trust everybody as well. I know I've uh, got some uh, emails from people uh, sort of saying, hey, we sometimes agree with you or don't agree. And in all cases, well, what can we do about it? And uh, I suppose we should do, do some positive, uh, I call them positive, uh, things that we can do. And of course, uh, to, to begin with, um, no, everything starts with the dream. And of course, uh, I'm just going to give you a few statements to start with. And uh, down as we go along, we'll sort of explore each statement. And uh, so everything starts with the dream. Uh, you change your life when you change your mind. Uh, let me just sort of make sure I'm giving these in order. And there's uh, another neat saying, if it is to be, if it's to be, it's up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. And many times I've said, look in the mirror and see, see what you see. And got to remember that the road to perfection is always under construction. And again, we'll sort of explore those things as we go on. And whether you're... Uh, I know I would go on about this Black Lives Matter and the systemic racism because uh, I think if one looks in the mirror, you like what you see, and uh, if that's where all this sort of starts. Don't let somebody, don't let somebody, uh, somebody else's label describe who you are or what you are, because you are what you are. And uh, some of us just sort of follow along with whatever. And then with this Black Lives Matter, you know, you look at where most of the destruction was done was done in black communities, black businesses, Chinese businesses, Japanese businesses. Most destruction was done where in the uh, black community where the elderly black people shop and that, and their stores were burnt out and looted. Now, I mean, just think of Black Lives Matter, why would they do that? And if Black Lives Matter, why would, in the last two weeks, uh, dozens of people be sh 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 black people be shot by blacks and several of them die? Nobody talks about that. We've, uh, uh, we picked one incident which was bad, and uh, I only looked at it once. I can't uh, look at things like that twice. It, it, it was nasty. It shouldn't have happened. And, uh, but it did, uh, but that was just one small piece. And to turn that into all the destruction and craziness that's been happening over the last while is stupid. And uh, so when you look at who is in charge and who is organizing all this, and uh, you very quickly start to see that there's something more happening than beats the eye. So, how do we change it all? Uh, I'm not sure uh, if we're past the tipping point, if we can. I think the one thing we have to realize is that in North America, it's one of the places on the planet where up until maybe now, you could do whatever you wanted to do. You could create a great life for yourself. We're not controlled by a communist regime. We're not controlled by a dictator. Uh, we had some semblance of uh, free enterprise and do what you want to do. Uh, no matter what one thought, thinks of Trump, I mean, that was his idea. His idea wasn't to uh, empower him, him, get power for himself. His basic idea, uh, supposedly, is to sort of help everybody get back to work and get the, get the country, get the country of the U.S. going again. And uh, that was, that's the beauty of America. You know, a lot of people, I know a Vietnamese couple after the Vietnam War, they were refugees. And they went through 
piracy and shark infested waters and all sorts of things to get all sorts of things to get to North America because they realized even those uh, this is where they can make a life for themselves and they own a very successful jewelry company now they're uh, they make gold jewelry and all sorts of fancy things and uh, it's interesting because I met, I met them when the children were really little and uh, they're all running the, the business themselves now and they're all wonderful people so it all starts it all starts with a dream and it all starts with ourselves we have to change our if we change our mind we change our life and if you don't whether you're a uh, living on a reserve, uh, you know, First Nations or Indian Reserve, uh, whether you're in the inner city somewhere surrounded by gangsters and thugs, uh, or whether you're in a top floor corner office with a view not happy with your life, you, know, you can change that if you change your mind. And if you don't want to change, well, there's nothing much anybody else can do because it's up to you. But once you make up your mind to change, you know, all sorts of things can happen. And I think one of the first things we have to, as well as doing that, we have to realize what we're, what we're up against. What is trying to change the North America into uh, a controlled, uh, crazy pattern much like they have in China? What's behind all that? And who are we dealing with here. And I think a good way to start that is to read a book Without Conscience by Dr. Hare, Robert Hare out of UBC. And I'm gonna, I'll put links to uh, this in the, in, the, in the written section underneath so you have the links. You can get the book from Amazon and there's an Amazon link for Canadians and an Amazon link here in the US. And I suggest you get that book and to read that book. And it'll describe, without conscience, describes the type of people who are trying to control everything, trying to control the world, um, trying to just really use you as a tool or use you as a fool. And these people just have no conscience about it. They don't have no empathy. They do not care about people. And uh, some of them are very, very intelligent, highly educated, intelligent, good-looking people. And everybody believes them. But they're full of bullshit. I mean, it's just uh, they have uh, ulterior motives. That, and uh, everybody else is grist for the mill. They don't really care about people. Uh, unless the people are creating something for them. So that's, that's where we're, the path we're on right now. And most people refuse to believe that. So that's why I'm saying, read this book by Dr. Hare, and uh, it'll give you a, a, a good, good feeling of what a control person is all about and what you're up against. And once you realize who's controlling the show and who, what they're trying to do to you, you still can change. You still can make your life do you follow your life. But you've got to understand the you got to understand your surroundings. You've got to be familiar with what's happening around you and understand what they're trying to do to you. So you don't go marching like an idiot following something that sounds good on the surface, but it's totally different than what you thought it was. Uh, you've got to be able to learn to peel the onion back and take a look at what's what's really going on. Don't just follow what the main television and newspapers are telling you. Do some research. Don't just follow what some goofballs are saying on the, on, on the internet either, because you've got to sort through this. Like I said, it's, it's, uh, you don't change your life by just flipping a switch. And it's not Kumbaya City. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take dedication. And it's got, you've got to want it. It's got to have a burning desire to become a, to be to become the person you want to be and again I think I mentioned it before you're the sum total of the five people you hang out most with so you've got to look around at who you're sort of associating with you got to pick your you got to pick your heroes pick your pick your mentors don't just sort of uh, follow along with the crowd 
And uh, I guess that's uh, about it for today. Uh, like I said, I'll put those links in the bottom. And uh, if you want to change your life and want to do things differently, you have to take control. And uh, it, uh, like I said, it's not, it's not an easy task. If it were easy, everybody would be doing what they want to do. Uh, it, uh, you cannot, you cannot start pointing fingers at everybody else and saying it's their fault or I would do this but for this, 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 this. I mean, there's going to be challenges. It's not easy. But the whole idea is to, over, to, to become a proactive person, not a reactive person, and to take charge of your own life. And don't give a damn what anybody else says. And I suppose we should add right now too, because there's a, uh, Tesla always referred to that, and a lot of people refer to this, that the whole universe is frequency, vibration, and energy. And uh, energy can, you cannot destroy energy, but you can change its form. Frequency, you can change the frequency of things. Vibration, you can change the vibration of things. So the whole key of this is to get your body in tune with that's what you want to do. And uh, sounds like an impossible task, but it's not. Uh, does it happen overnight? No. Are there shortcuts? No. Uh, is it hard? Yes. Does it matter what color you are? No. Does it matter what uh, religion you are? No. It's, uh, if it's to be, it's up to me, sort of thing. You've got to have that mantra. And, uh, you know, nobody, you're not cut out to be whatever. You cut yourself out to be whatever you want to be. And that is uh, uh, not an easy thing. But it's, it's, it's totally cool because the price of freedom is high, but freedom is a... As free as you can be in this universe of ours is a, is a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And uh, the only other thing I think you should mind, you know, if you're, there's just a lot of inspiration out there. And uh, pick, just pick people who are leading inspirational lives. Not bullshit lives, there's a lot of that out there. As you read that, book without conscience, you'll quickly realize that. There's a test for you to take as well. See where you peg in the system. See where you peg in the system. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Here's to a uh, good rest of the day. I'm waiting for some sun, still cloudy. And uh, trust you're keeping well. See you tomorrow. Bye.